helping children and young people achieve being a key strategic objective for many areas of the council, we want to put our money where our mouth is. We are at Sewerby Hall today and we're with the Hear Me Out Young Persons Engagement Group run by the Kids Charity. Um, part of my role is trying to bridge the gap between someone um, sort of maybe accessing children's services or um, academic services and support and then maybe coming under the banner of adult social care and how we can help them achieve what they want to achieve. Um, and we're here today sort of doing some video footage about co-production, engagement and participation and why that matters. They've been engaging with so many different things. They've been doing radio interviews, they've been doing outreach days to get more people involved in the group after lockdown. And that exactly kind of fits this aim of co-production, engagement, participation, and making it meaningful. We sort of want to gather the opinions and the voices of the young people on you know, what they want to see in their futures, how they want to shape that, how they want to steer their own aspirations and goals and then how we as a local authority and as adult services can support them. We're here for a couple of reasons. We're celebrating and rewarding young people's participation uh, because the young people in Hear Me Out have done an amazing job this year, getting involved in loads of great pieces of work to make a difference for young people with special education needs and disabilities across uh, Bridlington and the East Riding. So the groups for uh, young people aged 14 to 25. So anyone that lives in Bridlington or the surrounding areas within East, East Riding uh, who have any sort of special education need and or disability uh, who from the ages 14 to 25 are welcome to come and join this free service. It was identified that there was a real need across Bridlington area uh, and the East Riding that young people really wanted a voice to have their say in services in the things that, that make a difference for them. Uh, so we connect services such as health, education, uh, transport, um, you know, uh, different services within the local authority uh, with the young people's group so that together they can make a difference, they can help to shape those services, have their voices heard, uh, share some ideas and share some opinions uh, so that people in services uh, really get an understanding of what matters the most for young people with SEND. Today we're going to be doing some filming with the local authority media team and co-production lead Peter Measures um, where we're going to be um, helping to, to create a video, co-produced video with our young people um, all about young people achieving and how they feel that they can achieve through the types of work we do, the participation work uh, and also how they're achieving in life and growing in their own confidence and friendships and skills as well. What's helped you guys about coming to Wi-Fi? Speaking up, teamwork with each other, making more confident with each other, and, and making friends! friends! <laughs> so, how does being part of Hear Me Out YPEG help young people with special education needs and or disabilities? Becoming independent. We share all our ideas. Talking about what matters to us and people look at what we can do, not what we can't do. These young people get to share their stories and, and get to share that multiple times um, to many different audiences, so that's why it's really important. Peter's been instrumental in, in capturing those ideas from young people uh, and working with people like, uh, like the media team and the service to be able to make this, this event happen today. Well, my hope for that, that more services will have an active part in the group um, so things like you know transport's really important to our young people that that kind of transitioning into independence having uh, teachers and, and learning support tutors be much more upskilled in, in understanding about uh, how to how to work with young people with special education needs and disabilities and make things accessible for them to get to know the people in the service so and that that relationship builds there um, and when we've got that relationship, when we've got that good working partnership with services, we can do great pieces of work with them. Uh, and we're finding that services are again being really adaptable in you know, meeting the needs of our group and making things accessible um, so that our young people can feel included at every step of the way. I just think it's been just a really enjoyable day so far. It's, it's great to be able to reward these amazing young people for all, all the efforts they put in. Uh, talking to services and different national events we do, like going to the Council for Disabled Children Youth Conference, they're, they're always eager to get involved. So it's great for me to be able to see that we can reward and celebrate their involvement for that. And it, it really gels them and builds new friendships within the group as well. Here we are, Wyvig! Together we are a in making positive change.